Hey friends, little different view for Delight of the Bite. We're barely hanging on over here. It's been a lot. We're in the middle of buying and selling a home. Good timing, right? <laughs> but things look like they're moving forward, which is really awesome. And I'm standing over here by my sliding glass door because the lighting's better since I just rolled out of bed and it's 1030. <laughs> it's my first day where I didn't have to have my house looking perfect because nobody's coming by to look at it. Thank the Lord. Um, so I'm going to do a little feature today on taking leftover bits that you might have in your fridge. We had a random baked potato. I've got some mushrooms that are hanging on. I had some cherry tomatoes that are also hanging on and a little bit of green onion. And I'm gonna just do a quick little hash in a pan and then fry up an egg after I scoop out all the things that I fried on the pan and, or fried in the pan and then just top it with a fried egg. And that's kind of like my brunch and then a cup of coffee. So uh, I know we're all doing our best. So let's stay positive and um, yeah, just stay home, do our part. So I'm excited to show you with a little uh, random, let's just call it refrigerator hash with an egg. All right, let's get started. So one of my favorite ways to use up the things that we're already making, we had potatoes the other night, I had some tomatoes for a salad, some green onion, little mushroom, but really this could be almost anything that you have left over. Saute it up in just a little bit of olive oil or butter, and then um, I'm going to take this out, put it on a plate right over here, and then I've got the egg waiting to fry up in the hot pan. I'll lay the egg over top of the, veg the veggie potato mix, and that's breakfast. So, good way to utilize some of the things you have left over. Right, Tucker? Yes, he says. Also, here's how I do my eggs. I crack my egg in there, I put a little water in the edge of the lid, dump it in, and then cover it for just like a minute. And it kind of steams the eggs um, and doesn't make them crispy because I don't like that webby crispy part. Some people might love that, not me. Sorry, it's so messy, but tis the times. So, slid that thing on top of my little random hash right here. <laughs> you can see it almost makes it like it's basted, like the top kind of like cooks over with the when you add the water and cover the lid. So it's a good way. It's how I like my eggs. Um, and don't mind the Kim Possible reruns on in the background that my 21 year old's watching. <laughs> it's getting real fun over here. Okay, so I literally rolled out of bed. I threw on a sweatshirt because I got to get dressed, right? <laughs> this is breakfast. And by the way, it's like, oh, look at that runny yolk. It's like 1030. Living my best life. Okay, here we go. So this is just, again, whatever you have left over in your fridge, throw it in a skillet with a little bit of butter, fry it up, throw an egg on top. You've got lunch, breakfast, dinner, it works. Mmm. It's another form of comfort that isn't hopefully as bad as Granny's butter horns. If you didn't watch that one last week. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. Veggies. Leftover meats, leftover potatoes, any of it, throw it in a pan, fry it up, top it with a fried egg, and you have a little meal. So good way to use up your leftovers during this time as we're trying to not go out and do our part. All right, delight of the bite. Subscribe, share, tell your friends, and don't worry about showering because I'm not. <laughs> All right, and also my Instagram, at delight of the bite. Subscribe there. I might be posting some things. And thanks for watching, and be well, be safe. Thank you.